Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Everyone is safe and healthy of course. This is a very difficult video for me to put up. I'm kind of confused somewhat on how to present this message to you. But before we get started, I want to express something to you. I want to thank a wonderful sister, Wendy, from the UK. She has sent in multiple donations over the last three months, and because of her kindness and compassion for the people of this channel, she is responsible for the last three months of the videos that this channel has put up and Wendy we know you're watching and we love you sister very much also our brother Kirk from Australia sent in a donation and I want to say thank you brother all of you that has sent in donations over the last few months, each and every one of you are a messenger. That's right, you're a messenger just like myself. And these videos go out throughout the world. And as some of you know, I live completely off the grid. And I haven't worked in the last two years. Two years ago, I fractured both of my ankles. And I only worked three months that year, back in 2019. In 2020, I didn't work at all because of the oil and gas industry shut down. And I didn't work any. And I donated so much money to this channel in 2019 even though I wasn't working $5,000 on fuel for the whole year and $5,000 on a computer monitors screen recorder and audio and I did it because I have compassion for all of you just like Wendy and Kirk and please, don't send any more money, Wendy. Kurt, please. And the last month I received donations, people sent me email and said, you know, Jim, I, I can only send this much. Or through PayPal, I'll read the, the writings on PayPal, and that means a lot to me. And they say, you know, I'm sending $10 or I'm sending $20. You know, please, if you don't have money for donations, please do not send the donations. This channel will continue, even though if I have to pull money from my savings, it will continue. And I will be here all the way to the end. And for the last year, should I say nine months since people requested I put up PayPal uh, we have received enough donations to provide videos so all of you no matter if you sent five dollars every single one of you are messengers for the Heavenly Father and to get this message out to people throughout the world and I cannot express enough over all of the beautiful cards, the packages of love, and it, it's just am amazes me because sometimes I feel like I'm not worth it. 
and I just want to express my love for all of you and I want to say thank you so much from the from not the bottom of my heart but from my whole heart I'd like to say thank you because we're all in this together and I just want to have a few minutes to say I love you all and I pray for you all and thank you for your prayers thank you for your kindness your compassion love it, it really means so much to me it truly does and I just want to express my thoughts to all of you before we start this video this video should have been up weeks ago but I apologize because I've been extremely busy and I'm three weeks behind on projects that needs to be done here on the animal sanctuary and I have a lot of work to do I have to move 30 trees not 20 yesterday I went out and counted and I have to put a fire break around my place because fires are taking place here in New Mexico and also Arizona and throughout North America and throughout the world but let's start this video and it's difficult and I'm just gonna try my best to do, but to, to do the best I can and I'm going to explain something before we get started and I would like for you to listen about safe locations and the purpose of this video as some of you may remember back in August the 21st 2017 dealing with the solar eclipse and then it comes back in April the 8th of 2024 and it puts an X across America and to me that is a metaphor if you study the solar eclipse it is a warning to the world and as you know what took place Thursday June the 10th 2021 when a solar eclipse went right over It went right over where the magnetic reversal is taking place. I thought it was extraordinary because what is the odds of that happening? And in this location is where the work that I have done dealing with the magnetic reversal process, that's approximately 40 degrees. So to me, it's, it's a warning to the world and as you know a lunar eclipse is a warning to Israel so this is very significant it's very significant ladies and gentlemen it is a warning about certain events that are about to take place I believe it deals with the magnetic reversal and as you know it's moving to Siberia so on this illustration here it shows North America America basically and it deals with what they estimated would be like when we go through the magnetic reversal process please I encourage you to go back and look for the video scenario one two and three number two is my personal scenario dealing with 1200 miles of crust displacement I'm hoping it won't happen I believe maybe it just may tilt the earth it's possible 
So we might be able to survive it, maybe. But when you add in the planetary system, no. No. I don't believe we will. And I will get to that in a moment to explain. Now, this is what happened on Thursday the 10th, 2021. Now, this part of the video shows what was recorded in Canada and the United States. And we will look at what took place in Israel and other parts of the world. But I find this to be very, very, should I say strange, because the magnetic reversal process came to, I like to say, slow down or stopped. It was moving constantly, approximately 5.2 miles per month, 5.4 miles per month, 5.6 miles, 5.9, and then it slowed down to 4.99 miles per month. So, could it be possible that it's slowing down because the planetary system is draining our Earth and it's pulling on the Earth as well? I believe this is what's causing the sun and the moon to appear in different locations or in different angles, degrees. I believe the planet is being pulled by this planetary system and then it's released, it goes back and what's strange, it pulls it again and there should have been millions of people should have died from the tsunamis worldwide within a 24 hour to a week period and I did some research and found out that the area of the different parts of the world dealing with the sun appears in different locations throughout the world some people say it hasn't changed other people says it has changed I'm saying it has changed because it's not matching up with the solar panels and I'll never move the solar panels but I'm gonna have to adjust my solar panels because it has moved and people are saying no the Sun's in the right place no not here where I live maybe where you live but not here where I live okay The other thing is, everyone has noticed how the moon is tilting or in the wrong position and it's moving back and forth. I call it moon dancing. People call it moon dancing as well. It is just simply a term that the moon is not in its location. It's not staying in its location because the earth is tilting. Now these are the shots from different parts of the world, but something's going on ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to explain the four timelines that we are currently living in. And the first one, many of you have heard me talk about this before, it deals with the 26,000 year cycle. This is a natural cycle that we go through every 26,000 years. And it began on January the 1st, 2013. And I found out about the 26,000 year cycle from the scientist that I'm connected to. And he told me the truth, what is happening, and I'm going to explain it to you. The earth is expanding. It, this is a normal cycle. It's expanding and creating pressure upon the earth and upon the crust. And this is what's causing the earthquakes a thousand percent increase since October of 2020. 
and it started back in 2012 towards the end of the year and I've got the the information to, sh to show you a thousand percent increase back then all the way till today so this is causing enormous cracks like the video I did on Africa in the Great Rift and there's no seismographic activity was recorded this is causing sinkholes but he also stated that the earth is heating up from inside the earth's core this is producing a tremendous amount of pressure and it's heating up the the earth's crust heating up the ocean floor creating humidity because it's heating up the salt water and this is the truth about global warming rather you accept it or not we are producing co2 levels equal to three volcanoes per year we had 52 in one month and then number two timeline is dealing with the magnetic reversal process that I have been keeping up with since 2011 and as you can see these are my estimates where we're going to be but it is a estimate because it's fluctuating there's times it speeds up and there's times it slows down and here we are okay so if you look at the estimates it looks like we are going to be at 40 degrees by 2023 not 2024 okay and the crust is going to separate and I believe it's going to move 1200 miles not three to four thousand miles as the government believes in scenario one and three now this timeline the planetary system comes in every 3657 years I received that information from a very reliable source back in 2015 we are approximately at 3653.9 okay so it was a estimate that they gave me from a source that was <laughs> very reliable so the planetary system is going to produce a debris field that's 300,000 miles long 1.5 to 2 million miles tail of debris and then number four is the planetary system that appears as the great sign in the heaven appears a woman clothed with the sun and the moon's under her feet and she has it on her head 12 stars and she was pregnant was crying out in birth pains now I spent four months of researching and I want to thank the people that's asking for the information and I will send it to you as soon as possible but they went back 7,000 years it's never occurred 7,000 years in the future it's never occurred this seems to be the time that we are living in with the seven years tribulations that started back in September 23rd 2017 and if you look at the Jubilees how they lined up perfectly this is extraordinary this is this is amazing when you realize that we're three and a half years into the seven year tribulations these are not coincidence ladies and gentlemen these are four timelines that we are in and I wanted to sh take the time so new subscribers will understand how important these timelines are they're extremely important so now we're going to start the video dealing with safe locations so we're going to start here in North America now I want you to understand okay the problem is the water 
these lines right here represents 800 feet above sea level not this area right here okay that's only 200 feet but these areas here that is 1200 feet so keep that in mind and this whole area from what I understand is going to be underwater right here as you saw in the map and this area will be underwater as well so I don't like presenting this and you know it's all about free will okay it's all about free will a lot of put when I first found out all of this it, it really devastated me because a lot of people can't relocate because they don't have the money and there are a lot of wonderful people out there beautiful souls so this area right here is going to be underwater okay this area right here is going to be underwater as well and in Canada all of this is going to be underwater okay all, all of it and I'm going to bring this in so, so you can see what I'm talking about this area right here that's only right there is 2,000 feet okay this right here is 2,000 feet now some of you may be confused well you're saying 1200 feet this here right here in this location let me give you an example that's that is 500 feet above sea level more than likely this is this if we make the 1200 mile adjustment this area is going to be underwater this area right here would be underwater because it's only 600 feet anything inside of these lines it's going to be underwater Alberta we have many subscribers there in Calvary this area right here there's a huge amount of granite this area right here I'm going to bring it in so you can see what I'm talking about that right there is 2500 feet I was told to tell the people to be at least 5,000 feet. That right there is 5,700 feet. This is a huge amount of granite. This area right here between the two mountain ranges is still fairly good area. It's approximately 4,900 feet above sea level this is 3,000 so water is going to come in these locations this area right here that is 2,000 feet elevation right here British Columbia right here that right there is 2,000 almost 3,000 feet so water is going to fill in to these locations here okay you can see how all of this is broken up and don't forget about this area salt water is going to come through here and fill these areas up with salt water okay if 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 I could recommend anything I would recommend somewhere along this area but the researchers that did the simulation 3 said all of these people coming out of Calvary you're going to deal with refugees okay Vancouver you're going to deal with refugees this island right here is 3,800 feet Vancouver Island well the tsunamis are going to fall over this and it's going to come through here I want to go all the way up to Alaska because we have some wonderful people up there as well this area right here is going to fill up with water 
Alaska is not looking good and I'm going to explain why. This area right here is only 1100 feet. This area right here <laughs> is right at sea level. That's six feet right there. Okay. These areas here are going to fill up with water. All of this, all of this is going to be gone right here. All of this is going to be gone. All of this is going to be gone. All of this is going to be gone. Okay. I, I, I'm just, I'm just giving you the evidence, and you can do what you want to do. If you don't agree then you should do some study on the magnetic reversal process. All of this is going to be underwater. Okay. I'm going to change this and I'm going to put it right back north so you can understand what I'm saying. The water is going to come right through here, ladies and gentlemen. And all of these places of Oregon right here is going to be submerged. This is a very high mountain range, but it's not that high. Okay. Look, right here, that's 1,400 feet. All of this is going to be underwater. San Francisco is going to be underwater. And what's going to happen with San Francisco is these areas of Sacramento right here is all going to fill up with water. Okay? All of it is going to fill up with water. Bakersfield is going to be gone. All of that is going to be gone. All of this is going to be gone. That is approximately 30, 100 feet. It's going to be underwater. The water is going to come in through here. And Mexicali is going to be gone. The Salton Sea is going to be gone. Water is going to come right up through here. And all of this is going to fill up with water. Las Vegas is going to be gone. That area is going to fill up with water. That right there is 3,000 feet. Nevada is going to fill up with water. That right there is a good mountain range right there, pushing the limit at 5,000 feet. That's 6,000 feet. And if you look at the map, it does show certain parts of Nevada would be not submerged, okay, because it deals with the deals with the high mountain range. That mountain range right there is ten thousand. Okay, you're not gonna go nowhere near that and it for the very simple reason this is a underground facility that belongs to the Homeland Security. And National Security Administration. This area right here is 7,000 feet. If you look on the map, this area right here will be okay. But you're going to be surrounded by water. Okay? It's not rocket science. I suggest you do your own homework. This area right here, I'm telling people you can go there. That's almost 6,000 feet. Montana. I wouldn't go there because there's 2,500 ICBM nuclear missiles there and also as well as North Dakota. All of this might be safe, okay, Nebraska, because it's in the center of the United States, the Midwest. All of this area right here it's going to fill up with water. Okay, I, I, I'm just telling you, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't get out, then that's okay. I suggest you prepare spiritually. That's going to be underwater. And let me show you something. This part of Michigan right there is 1,100 feet. Okay, this is below 800 to 1,200 feet. Right here. That's a, that's right here. I'm going to, I'm going to bring this out. That right there is 1,100 feet. That right there is 1,200 feet. Okay, and I'm going downward. So all of this is going to be underwater. 
that water is going to come right through here ladies and gentlemen okay and it's going to fill up this whole region it's going to be underwater all of this is going to be underwater and then don't forget the new Madrid is going to play a very key role in all of this okay this area right here underwater 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 yep underwater you know I, I, I don't like this I'm just doing the best I can okay safe location now you're gonna get it okay right here is Albuquerque let me explain something the Santos scientists told me when they see the map Jim they're gonna say oh I'm in a safe location I'm in a safe location okay I'm in a safe location I might be in a safe location he said they have no ideal they have no ideal because you're gonna to have to deal with refugees so all of this is heavy populated areas okay all of this you see this line right here okay if you live on the eastern side of these areas you're going to deal with refugees they're going to come for your Campbell soup in this area okay in this area right here they're going to come for your Campbell soup this area right here okay they're going to come for your Campbell soup too and you're not going to like it I'm just being straight up with you because I, I don't like doing all of this and I'm tired of trying to help people they want to live their life in denial right here these are high mountain ranges that's 7,000 feet that right there is 10,000 feet that right there is 12,000 feet okay the map shows that the western slope of Colorado I worked all up in this area it's going to fill up with water all up in here okay safe location and I want you to hear me out okay see this crack some of the main geologists for the United States is, is in these locations right now I wonder why this area right here is a safe location that's 8,000 feet right here okay I'm not talking about that okay if you want to live out in the desert it may become a tropical forest okay so a lot of wonderful people in Arizona subscribe to this channel and I'm going to focus here for them that right there is is approximately right there right here where my little finger is right here okay let, let me explain something that is 5,000 feet that is the bare minimum this area of Phoenix completely gone completely gone and then this area here it's gonna fill up with water Tucson completely gone this is where I live approximate you know what that is right there that's salt okay that is salt that is salt okay this is salt so that means the water got up there before and it got up in here as well that's salt so why is New Mexico a safe location this right here 
even though you have salt right here this area right here that's almost 8,000 feet above sea level that area right here that's 8,000 feet above sea level right at 7700 feet above sea level that's 6800 that right there is 7,000 this right here I'm going to bring this in so you can see. This is Kamado right here. I'm advising people to, to move to these areas of Kamado because they're good people there. Okay. This area right here is part of the reserve. Anywhere in these areas. Of New Mexico this the reason it's called the reserve is because it deals with the national forest this area right here is right at 6,000 feet that area right there is 6,500 feet that's why I'm saying there's only a few places in Arizona this area right here is 6,000 feet This area right here is Springerville. A wonderful sister lives there. Sister, if you live there, it's going to be okay. This area is going to be okay. That's 8,000 feet, ladies and gentlemen. Alpine, that's 7,000 feet. All down through here, okay? That right there is 7,000 feet. That right there is 5,000 feet. Now it's starting to drop off. That right there is 5,000 feet. What I mean by dropping off this right here is approximately 5,000 feet. But if you get over here, it's not. It's dropping off. Okay. Wow. That looks like a little bit of salt too. Here is where I'm advising people for New Mexico. That right there is 7,000 feet, ladies and gentlemen, right here. That's a mountain range right there. Okay. When you start getting into these areas, this is a good area, but I don't think you're going to deal with refugees. It's only that is a very, 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 very small town right there in Dattle. Okay, the good people in Dattle. Okay, most of the people don't live in Dattle. This is where they live around these areas. This right here is the reserve. Okay, it's beautiful. That's 8,000 feet. That right there is 8,000 feet. That right there is 8,000 feet. That right there is 7,000 feet. And here's the salt. So that means water got up in here before. Okay, you can see it right there. That right there is 8,000 feet. That right there is 7,500. That right there is 73. Magdalena, that's 6,200 feet. Magdalena is a very small town and you're not gonna have to deal with refugees because they're good people and they're not gonna travel over here to get your camel seat. Go ahead. This is the Quero. okay. Those people, when all of this takes place, they're going to go right up here. And it's not going to be no Campbell soup for them either. Now, I'm going to take you 
to a little bitty itsy bitty place that has 25 people living in Pike Town. That's how small it is. Okay? Does that look big to you? These are the people. Wonderful, good people there. I love them. They're good people. You see anything? You can count. It's only 25 people there, ladies and gentlemen. But they're good people in Pie Town. Okay. So, I'm going to take you over here. Now, Google Earth does not update their area very well. Right here is a good area. Right here is a good area. And let me explain why. Because you're at 7,500 feet, okay? This is a place that's called Top of the World. I'm going to have the information. John Holtman is his name. He's a wonderful gentleman. And his information will be there. And this is Top of the World. It's a small convenience store. This is the storage unit. These are the tracks. Okay. 10 acre tracks and if you look you don't see any houses do you that's because Goofy doesn't update Google Earth okay that area right there is 7,600 feet right here that area is 7,500 feet that's 7,500 feet all of this is for sale ladies and gentlemen all of it and i believe he has 35 10 acre tracks left he's selling them very quickly and i will explain why these people were out here these people were out here Okay, they had enough with the fires. They had enough with the earthquakes. So, what are they doing? Okay. They. Are doing this. They're going to Pie Town. Wonder why. Okay. Let me redo this. <laughs> They're coming to New Mexico. All of these areas I'm showing you right here. Right up in here, they're buying. Okay. They are buying them for a simple fact reason. They have had enough of San Diego. Okay. And they have had enough of Los Angeles. And they have had enough of all the fires in these areas. Okay. So they're coming right through here. To Pie Town. All up in here, Arizona, all up in here. Now, I want to explain something else.
That's Kamado. That's Daddle. That's Pie Town. Clayton County. Let me explain the, cl the, the crime rate in Clayton County. Okay. Clayton County. Approximately this area. Has the lowest crime rate in the nation. It's 0 0.01, ladies and gentlemen. That's because there's good people in these areas. If you can afford to live in the reserve, you're going to pay $1,500, $2,000 an acre anywhere in these areas. Okay? Plus, you're going to have to put water in unless you buy property that's already developed. Okay. High Town. Top of the world. Top of the world, they have electricity. You're not totally off the grid. They also have their own water supply. But, you're going to have to get a poly tank, go load it up with water on a trailer, and then fill your reserve tanks up. So there you have it. We covered Canada, okay, America, parts of Alaska, Hawaii, completely gone. I'm sorry. You're going to be completely gone. And you know, and you want to know why? That right there is 16,000 feet, okay, of water. 16,000 feet of water. And that water is going to come right through here right through here and it's going to take the island out I'm sorry okay all of that is going to be gone underwater every single bit of it will be gone You know, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't like this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I, I, I don't like it. This area out right here is, a, it's going to be underwater. All of this is going to be underwater. You're away, beautiful country. I thought about living there. There's only one area, 600 feet. That's going to be underwater. This area is going to be underwater. Chile and Argentina. This area out here is going to be underwater. You know, that's 900 feet. This mountain range right here. Let me explain. Okay. Look at all of these. Look at all these areas. The water is going to come th right through here. All of these areas. I'm going to fill up with water. Okay. Every single bit of it. This area right here, that's going to fill up with water. These areas right here, this mountain range, more than likely, is going to get hit by water. Right here, that right there is 10,000 feet. That right there is 14,000 feet. That right there is 11,000 feet. That right there is 10,000, 11,000. 10,800 because now you're dropping off. That's a thousand feet right here. 
Right here is a thousand feet. That's going to be underwater. Peru, regardless what you think about it, wonderful people. This is the second largest lake of fresh water in the world, right here. They're wonderful people. They're just simple minded people. And you can go there and live on 50 cents a day with organic food all along this area. So if you don't like America, I suggest you go there. All of this is gone. This will separate and all of this is going to go underwater. Panama is completely gone. That's 12,000 feet of water. That's 10,000 feet of water. And that right there is 11,000 feet of water. What do you think it's going to do? <clears throat> if you don't mind me asking. Okay. That right there is underwater. That's 150 feet. All of that's underwater. All of that will be underwater except for this area right here. Okay, that's 10,000 feet right there. Mexico City, that right there is 5,000 feet. What you gonna deal with? Yes, that's right. Refugees. 3,500. I told a wonderful subscriber, you can take a chance on these mountain ranges. I would recommend somewhere around here because that's 7,000. Right there, 7,000. And right through here, this little mountain range right there is 5,700 feet. So we're running out of time. I want to save as much time as possible. Part two will be next Saturday. And I really don't want to talk about this area. Okay. I don't want to talk about it because we have wonderful subscribers that live there. And I love them all because they watch the videos, every single video, and they're wonderful and beautiful people, souls. The purpose of this, ladies and gentlemen, is so you can get out of heavy populated areas as soon as possible, okay? We only have approximately two years left for the magnetic reversal in the planetary system and the purpose of it is so you don't have to deal with maniacs coming for your food and killing your family members I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen I am just telling you what I was told I, 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 I'm just going to say it one last time and, and, and I don't want to say it no more. The source told me that's connected with Homeland Security, National Security Administration said when these things, when these events take place, you're going to deal with refugees. It's going to start out, let's look at Memphis, Tennessee. No. Let's look at Indiana. One million populated area. It's going to be 12 gangs. So if it's one million and you're looking at Chicago, you double the numbers, okay? One million populated area. You're going to deal with 12 gangs. The government will have 10,000 people for one million populated area because there's only 300,000 troops why is it that there's 300,000 united uh, nuts from the UN here troops then there's going to be 
Six, three, two, one, gang. And when they come in, they're gonna kill the man completely, right off the bat. You won't hesitate, because you're not part of the gang, okay? And then they're gonna put the women and children in a secure place, lock the door. And they're gonna take food, weapons, water, gasoline, gold, silver, anything valuable, prescription drugs, illegal drugs, guns, ammo. And this is the sad part. I and mean, I don't like this at all. Women and children will be traded as a commodity. The computer, once it spit out all of the information on the sheet, you know what it said? History repeats itself. I don't like giving this type of message, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Part two. We are going to focus on parts of Europe. We have wonderful subscribers in South Africa. Okay? I will try my best to finish it up for part two and talk about these regions, but also to talk about the wonderful and beautiful subscribers that we have in Australia. gonna flip ladies and gentlemen and this is what I believe the planet's gonna look like people are not gonna like it that's why it's important to please send this video out much as possible to as many people as you can they're not going to receive it maybe a few of them will but they're not going to receive it because you're crazy you are not crazy let's finish this up please thank you He's returning for his bride, ladies and gentlemen. He's returning for the church. And I'm not talking about a physical building. He's coming back for those who have a personal relationship with him each and every day. And he's coming for those who have been paid for through the blood of, of Christ. He's coming back, ladies and gentlemen. It's the end of age. And if, there's that word again, if I'm correct and I'm only 97% correct, 3% they could not verify. You're going to deal with the gangs and you're going to deal with the refugees. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, please. Sunday will be a very important spiritual message 
connected to the events that are taking place. And I know a lot of you come through here for the earthquakes and the magnetic reversal and the volcanoes. It's more than that. You have to understand these gangs is going to change your reality if you don't get out of heavy populated areas. They will come for your Campbell's suit, but Jesus Christ is returning for those who belong to him. These gangs don't belong to him. These people do. This individual is confused. He has no faith. All of this is taking place for a reason. So you can prepare a you can prepare spiritually. And a lot of people's not gonna make it. When you see this happening, some people are going to reach out and try to touch them and the truth will shock them. This is serious, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I try to express as much as possible. Please enjoy those beautiful packages of love. Your children, your grandchildren, your mother, your father, your grandparents, your aunt and uncles. And anyone that will listen, give them some love. Receive the package, wrap it up and send it back out. Because you're a messenger, just like I am. And it's time to get this message out. It is time before it's too late. Our time is running out. Time is speeding up. Time for his return. Tell them. And I did. And I will. And I will continue. This is a wonderful time to be alive, no matter how you look at it. This is an amazing time to be alive because we are living in the time of the second coming of Christ. And I'm going to explain a wonderful message tomorrow, Sunday. We are going to be spiritually teleported out of this dimension. If you belong to him, and it's very easy. If you have fallen away, all you have to do is repent and confess to him, and you can return. You'll have your ticket. I have my ticket, but I love you all. Please continue in prayer and be strong, because soon we're going home. Much love, and thank you for being yourselves. God bless always.